had a bit of a problem with the audio on this one. Hope you can hear it okay. Wondershare have released a new Film Order 12 update. It's version 12.3. It's got some great features, so let's jump into Film Order and take a look. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. I'm John and welcome to Fun with Film Order. Most of the latest updates are all based around being able to play with the colours in your video, which is great to be able to do. And I recently did a video on colour grading, which you can watch by clicking on the link up there. I hope it's up there, otherwise I'm going to look stupid. <laughs> oh, don't believe it, sorry. Who is it? What have you been buying now? It's an Amazon delivery. Do you know I get that many deliveries from Amazon? They're thinking of changing the name to Amajon. Update 1 is Preset Hover. So, let's go into our stock media and drag a piece of footage down onto the timeline. I'm just going to chop that down to about 5 seconds long. Don't need it anything longer than that for this tutorial. So, I'll chop it there and I'll delete the last bit by pressing delete on the keyboard. I'll go to the start of the clip and, like I said, this one we're going to look at Preset Hover. So, if you go to Video and then go to the Color tab, you can see the preset LUTs there and you can scroll up and down. If this isn't open, there's a little triangle there you can click on and that'll open all the presets for you. And now what you can do is you can see as I take my mouse over them, you can hover over them and it shows you a preview of the LUT, which is a great time saver. Um, there's nothing worse than having to click and download and see what it looks like and you don't like it. So this will be really beneficial this. Update 2 is LUT Strength. And LUT stands for Lookup Table, which is basically a colour template that's already a preset. So you can see here, let me just hide that there. The LUTs we have here in Filmora, we have a few there. So let's just choose black and white film, for example. You'll see that the image goes to black and white. And now you can change the strength on that. And this is the update. So you can decrease the strength of the actual LUT, which can be useful because some LUTs can be quite severe. So, for example, um, let's just choose one. <laughs> that doesn't look any different. <laughs> this isn't a very good... Yeah, Cyberpunk. See how vivid that is. You might want that, but you like the colour scheme for whatever you're doing. You can lower the strength down. So, I think that's a nice little feature. Update 3, Colour Wheels. Now, this next one, I think, is a great update. And it's going to be useful for some videos, definitely. So let's have a look at what it can do. We go to the top tabs again and we go to Color Wheels. This is a new feature and a great update. And we can see here we have three options. We can change the highlights, colors, and both the brightness and the darkness on the highlights. Sorry. Here we've got the mid-tones. And again, we can change the highlights and the darkness on those. And we can change the shadows, brightness, and darkness on those. In each one of these as well, let me just reset them, we can also change the colours. So, for example, if I just spin the colours around like that, you can see it changing slightly, the different colours. Again, if we do the mid, I'll reset that, if we do the mid-tones, you can see the tones change quite a bit, which is good. Get some great effect with this. I'll reset that. And once again, with the shadows, we can change all them. So not only can we change the colours, but we can also change the brightness and the darkness of each one of those as well. And we can do them all together. So we can make that slightly darker, change a different colour, maybe darken the green. I'll choose the mid-tones to be... Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look now. Really something out there, something different. So let's choose that one. And we'll make that a bit brighter. And then the shadows... We'll change to that and darker that. That looks awful. <laughs> but you get the idea. You can play around with all of the colours and get a good a good colour that you want. Um, obviously, that was really over the top. But you can just do fine adjustments just by dragging your mouse. It's really, really good. The other things that you can do with this, which I really like, is let me just reset all them. We can use keyframes. Fantastic. So get to the beginning of your clip. 
put in a keyframe. Let's go to the end of the clip and add another keyframe. Now let's change some of the colors. Let's go to really bright red. I'll darken that down a bit. Let's play around with the mid-tone, see what we can do there. Uh, do, 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 do. Don't know why I did that then. Let's just leave it like that. And again, we'll just darken that down to really make the red pop. And see if we can do anything with the shadows. Let's make that more green. So we've got really red flower, dark green background. Make that a bit darker as well. So, now what will happen is, when you play, the keyframes will kick in and it will change from the natural colour to the colour that you created with the colour wheels. But what I love about this, I love watching it actually, it's quite mesmerising. When you play the keyframes that you've created, look what happens with the colour wheels. It all changes. How oh, great is that? How oh, fascinating. I dog, small things amuse small minds, eh? That's me. But that's a great feature, I love that one. Update 4, save as custom. Now I think the next one is going to be really useful as well. What you can do is any air changes you make within the colour wheels or with the colour LUTs, you can now save them as a custom template so you can use them in any other of your video clips which is going to be really time saving. Let me show you how that works. So we've got colour wheels here at the moment. We like what we've done here. What we do is we go down to the bottom right, click on save as custom. We give it a name. I'll just call it demo and click on OK. You can now find these by going to the basic all presets and choosing the custom preset. And there we have it, demo. So for example, if I delete this and drag another video down, and then if I click on my custom demo, it will change that clip. As you can see there, it's changed it to my preset. Brilliant. And it's also included the keyframes as well. So that's great. Great feature. And again, we can save as a custom template in the LUTs as well. Let's just delete that again. We'll drag down a different piece of footage this time. Okay. And this one is just flying over the field. So what I'll do is I'll go back to color. I'll choose a preset LUT of say blockbuster that looks really vibrant and i want to change some of the features on here maybe the the colors and the vibrance and the saturation etc and now we can save that as custom as well so bottom right click save as custom choose another one i'll call it demo 2 and do ok so that's now saved in your presets you're all presets there and because I've made changes to a standard preset, it also comes up in all presets as well. So we've now got Demo 2 and Demo 1 in all presets, or we can choose the custom and just show the two custom ones that you've saved. But like I said, it's there, available in all presets as well. Great feature. Update 5. Export Image Sequence. Now the last one I'm going to show you is called Export Image Sequence. And I don't know how I'd use it to be honest with you. If you've got any ideas how you think you'd use it, please let me know. But be careful when you're using it and I'll explain why. Let's just delete what we've got there. We'll drag down another bit of footage. The flowers again, I love them, lovely. I'm going to crop this right down just to about three, three seconds. And you'll see why in a second. So I'll chop that there and delete the end of that. And now I can export this as an image sequence, i.e. every single frame of this video individually as either a JPEG or a PNG, which is a transparent. This doesn't need to be transparent because it's completely colored. So let's go to, make sure you click on the clip, export, create video, and now from here, we choose the preset, sorry, the format, not as MP4, which is what we'd use for a video, but scroll right down and there's two new options, PNG or JPEG image sequence. How do you use JPEG for quickness? 
click on that click on export and that's now exporting all of your clips as individual frames if you've got a big clip that's going to take hours believe me and i'll show you how i know that so let's just close that i'll go to the folder where the images have just been downloaded and there you go that three second clip exported 87 individual images i just can't figure out how that could be useful but like i said please if you've got any ideas let me know in the comments below and if you could do a video on it show me even better in all i think the new updating features are really good and i'll certainly be using them in my videos hope you can use them in yours as well and i hope you've been able to take something away from this tutorial please let me know in the comments below if you have i'd love to hear your comments as always thanks for watching now go have some fun